Back in town, the any science, as well as B2, the Watson Crick, because they discovered the structure of DNA while sitting in a pub in Cambridge, which I find quite amazing. I couldn't do half the things I do today if I didn't know the structure of DNA. Um, so, yeah, those two. <laughs> Best thing about being a scientist is, uh, is that feeling that you're actually contributing towards uh, human knowledge. You're always pushing something forward, something that has never been done before. Something entirely novel, and you in the hope that one day that contribution that you're doing is going to help millions and millions of people. Uh, actually, it's quite gratifying, you know, something worth fighting for. Okay. The most important advice I think to give a child or somebody coming into science is don't be put off by the apparent complexities of science when you really want to start doing it because I think a lot of people. Um, think that science is too complicated and they think, oh yeah, it's really inaccessible and I'm not going to be able to do that. But I really do think that if people are motivated, if there's stuff that interests them about discovery and technology, I think science is a really good career to choose. And just push through those difficult bits at the moment, uh, at the beginning, because in the end it will really pay off. If I hadn't have been a scientist, I would probably be doing something with organisation, so maybe office-based work. I look I like organizing things or organizing events and things, so maybe a party organizer. I would say that my favorite part of being a scientist is being able to use all this new technology and really being at the cutting edge of what's new and exciting uh, in, in the world of technology, um, especially in the kind of science that we do, which is all about disease and specifically psychiatric disease. It's really exciting to know that the work we're doing might in the end be of benefit to the whole of mankind. So I think that's probably the most exciting part of being a scientist. <laughs> Jesus, is that a real question? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's, I don't know, that's so wrong. <laughs> Go for another one. First bit of science I ever did was uh, when I was around seven. I won my first chemistry kit and I developed something uh, called the Devil's Blood, where it actually is like a fake ink thing. You stain someone, in a matter of minutes that disappears. Uh, that was my, as far as I recall, the first science I ever did. Important thing in science yet to be discovered. It's got to be the hoverboard from Back to the Future, hasn't it? I mean, what's going on there? I've got to have sorted that out by now. That's why if I wasn't in the life sciences and I wasn't a geneticist, I'd be working in physics or engineering and trying to really get to the bottom of this problem because it's been far too long.